Hey folks, PC Outcast here, back with more of Sylvanas Windrunner. As we become the Lady of Death, the Dark Lady, whatever. Uh, I think it was Lorem was saying that Anis has a um, poison of paralysis here. Chaotic Riata. Increase health regeneration. Okay. Ah, oh, that one does health damage. Ah, right there. Potent paralysis poison. Seven seconds. You know, using poison for this build could be a good thing. What's this? Enchanter's draft? No. Okay, so we are going to attempt to poison Drellis and rush in, grab the Book of Curses, and get the hell out of there. Super fast. Here's the book. There. And run. And run. Right into a saber cat. No, no. Not over there. Does he fall? Oh, he's out. I think he's shooting at us. Ah, he's casting various spells. And there's a dragon. <clears throat> Let's try to do this. Sneaky like. Maybe it'll he'll come this way. Look at that running animation. Sweet. Okay, everything's great. He's no longer mad at us. There you go. We made it. Okay, now the book in question is despair first a target a target to surrender all hope asked with health instead of magicka um there curse of despair because we can give that a try pardon my, my voice i was choking on coffee just before um the street the uh, record Probably not the best time in the world to record. Now, there goes my voice again. Now, Re Ranvig's Fast should also have a, uh, a book. So, let's go and check that out. There's a, oh, I thought that was a wolf. It's not. There is that, uh, is that. That just, that. Is that just a, good grief, my voice is just going. Uh, is this something or is it just part of the mountain in a weird way? Now that definitely looks like something. That is an exit. I don't think there's a way to get up there. It definitely looks like some sort of exit. Right, so 
Um, there's going to be a lot of searching around Ranvigs, I would imagine, because it's, if I remember correctly, that's a fairly big, a fairly big um, dungeon. This, this is the one that has the invisible guy. Oh, there's one. Unfortunately, I don't get the sneak bonus or uh, crouching down because it's dark. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on. Did I miss again? Just like missing over and over? Is that what, is that the big plan? Get a shot off. Oh, he's over there. Oh, come on! Hit! Hit! Sorry. <sighs> I think I leveled up too. Nice. Let's do, um,. More magic. Yeah, I never intended to spend anywhere near this amount of magic in this, this many points into magic in this playthrough. But here we are. Archery still moving up at a snail's pace, especially when I keep missing. That's not really very helpful. Windrunner, of course we have to get Windrunner. I mean, that kind of goes without saying, right? Muffled movement, light foot, blind spot, fog of war. Yeah, we basically want all that stuff. We want anything on this side? I think this is silent roll, dodge roll. Nothing's blade. We might want this stuff, maybe. We're gonna use the daggers, possibly, maybe. Very iffy on that whole thing. Don't need keen senses. You don't need a um, helmet. Armor rating of armor pieces increased by 20% if not wearing a helmet. We don't really need that. Uh, light armor training. Light armor weighs nothing, doesn't slow you down when worn. Armor rating increased 15% if wearing a match. Where if wearing a matched set of three or more pieces. Tough hide wearing all light armor grants 40% resist to poison and disease. While sprinting in all light armor, incoming attacks and spells might miss. Or sorry, always miss. And weight does not affect stamina drain. Untouchable. Move 10% faster in combat in all light armor, taking an unblocked attack. Uh, hit disables this effect for 10 seconds. War Dancer, your attacks deal 15% more damage and critical damage at all in all light armor, taking an unblocked attack, or sorry, unblock, unblocked hit disables. Magic set. And then this is this side is uh, unarmed. Okay, there's really not nearly as many, uh, there's like nowhere near as many perks as there is in Ordinator. And uh, I believe there's actually, um, what is it called? There's, there's a mod, or no, Vokinator or something like that. It's like, um, basically they took what they felt was all the best perks from Vokri and Ordinator and merged them into one. That's kind of interesting. I think I'm gonna go, just go ahead and get silent movement. Yeah. I still get the bonus, you know, for sneaking, but I don't get the bonus for, uh, I don't get the free muffle and the invisibility stuff going on with us. All right, so this place could have some good stuff for us. Is he gonna, is he gonna freak out? Oh, he's freaking out at my, uh, 
guy. Hide in the shadows here. Oh. Well done. Well done, you. Good shot. Ran the vigs fast. Now, um, we are going in here, but um, something we want to um, just remember is that we um, we were. It was suggested by that guy at the um, at the white the the witch hunters, whatever it's called, the witch hunters. Um, fort or whatever, um, it was suggested that we might want to, we might want to, um, go and check out Felglow Keep. What other options have we got here? I do have the, uh, Bound Shadows. So I, I did, ch I changed my load order and Bound Shadow, the Bound Shadows, uh, bow still does not put out light sources, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Sorry. Let's try, um, well, agony. Oh, goodbye. Yeah, you know, after playing with these couple of, um, spells, I am itching to do a uh, Blood Mage Cannibal playthrough. I know that's totally disgusting and, and dark, but uh, if you have any suggestions, okay, here, here's what I want. I want um, something that gives me very high health regeneration when I uh, eat an enemy. So... We'll take that. Um, like, like this, um, Sylvanas here, when she eats a humanoid enemy, she gets like 2,000% health regen for 10 seconds. I want something like that. Um... Basically, I want something like that in the form. Maybe, maybe like a a boosted version of Namira's ring or something like that. And then I would like you also to suggest to me every mod you can think of that adds blood mage spells, so spells that can be cast only from health. And help uh, can be spells and other abilities, whatever. But any, anything that can be that uses health. Just a second. Oh! Don't push me into the guys. This guy. This guy's got a lot of health too. I'm sorry. I don't want to do this. Why? I don't want to do this. Don't don't kill my. No. Don't kill me. Kill, don't kill my bro. Anyway, yes. Um, don't do it in the comment section, though. Head over to uh, my Discord, uh, which there's a link in the description, and uh, post under the modding section uh, all the all your suggestions for Blood Mage mods, as well as. If you know of a mod that uh, adds some kind of thing like that, either an ability, or it can it can be like a lesser power, or it can be a boosted version of Namira's ring, whatever. I just want um, to be able. Basically, the idea is you have to use health to defeat your enemies, and then you can only regain. Oh yeah, that's the other thing too. I don't want any passive health regeneration. I want to have to consume my enemies in order to get my health back in order to be able to cast new abilities to deal with my enemies, if that all makes sense. 
That is the grand plan. A cannibal blood mage. Oh. Thank you for stopping for me. That was very kind. I don't have any choice. I'm sorry. I don't want to do this. Okay, so that is a future build idea. Now, we better look in every nook and cranny, check every body, and see, somewhere around here, it's probably, it's probably where the, uh, where the main guy is, but somewhere around here, we're gonna find a book. That over there, and then this should be nothing. Yeah, it's just a trick. Anyway, I thought a build like that would be pretty cool. Did I check this body over here? Did you just fall down there? You did, didn't you? He did. Also use our shadow bow. Can I try let me try this again? Yeah, definitely not working. That's downstairs. Is there a switch? The yeah, old creaky bones there is like a little bit too easy to detect. That's downstairs. Good God. Um, yeah, you? Can you alert him? Stay away. Go in there and make yourself useful. I don't want to do this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, he's done. There we go. Um. No. Uh, actually, I should probably have a couple of health potions for. Oh, is that really? Is that all that's here? Probably have a couple of health potions for. Let's drop. Oh, no, no, come on. Let me drop over there. Perfect. Oh, that's apprentice locked as well. I do have that. Unfortunately, means I can't really. Uh... Oh. Uh, unfortunately, switching over like that means that I can't use my shadow. Shadow uh, bow, because the ability does not work properly after after it's been um, after you've already activated it. Basically, got to switch back over to my other bow. How did I miss that? On.
Uh, can I switch over to my other arrows? Oh, I can. Oh, man, I've got, I've got tons of... Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, these bows do, like, way more damage than the, uh, than the shadow bow does. Let's go. Oh, hello. Can you please... Did I kill him in one shot? Oh, I killed him in one shot. Okay. I will take that. Yeah, these, uh... These arrows use... Do, like, way more damage. Need to... I guess I need to drop those or something. Come on. Oh, that goes out to Skyrim. Oh, this is probably that spot. Yes, it is. Um, excuse me. In case we want to use hmm in case we want to use uh... oh hello Shoot him in the back. Don't heal. Do not heal. Show yourself. Show yourself, old beast. Oh, God, come on. Yes! It worked. And now I can go and feast on him. Hmm. Yeah, the healing thing might need to actually last a little longer than that. Because I would like to basically be able to re completely regenerate my, um, let's, uh, yeah, just dump all those there. I'd like to basically completely regenerate my health uh, by defeating an enemy. Research assistant. Oh, there's the book. Right there. And we also got another unusual gem. Book of Curses. Binding. Curse a target to bind their soul. Cast with health instead of magicka. Elect can kill you. Okay, so the dealing with Daedra mod is certainly one of the potential mods for adding uh, blood magic. As we can see. Do I want Sild's journal? Or whatever. 
weak poison, some health, and a bunch of people. Offhand, hang on a second. What are the stati the um, stats on ring the ring of Numira? The vanilla stats are stamina increased by 50 points. Feeding on corpses grants you increased health and health regeneration. Doesn't really say. Oh, 50 percent or 50 more health and 50 percent faster. Health regeneration for five minutes. Yeah, say I want higher than fifty percent, five and probably less than five minutes, but more than ten seconds. I know I'm a very particular, demanding person. I realize that's, that that is a really really small boss chest. Is there another way out of here? Through here. Well, that's nothing. That just that just goes through there. Guess we want to go this way. Just gonna save just in case I run into someone. Okay, this is out to Skyrim. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we've got three of the book of the books. Uh, we've got, got one there, one there, and I think that's Shrine of Zura now. Just those two, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's head over to Um I guess we'll go to White Run. And then we'll go to uh, Felglow Keep. So dark. Have we leveled? No. Okay, let's take a look. So stuff is. Oh man. I mean, we're level fourteen, and our armor is only giving us uh, sixty. Total armor rating. Death Whisper is 13 damage. Why is the Serenite arrow saying that it's 12 now? Like, if I equip this, does it. No. How come it. Wasn't it saying. 24 earlier? Is that because I was holding it and it was doing the double damage? That is really, really low. I'm sorry, but that is a bit too low. I think a bound bow would be better. Oh, it's gonna start raining. Let's switch to night vision. I mean, uh, uh predator vision. Also, the other thing that is not appearing in my list of spells or abilities is the ability to, uh, like, I can I can create a bound bow, but I can't create the bound um, throwing dagger. So something is wonky with my uh, my mods. Both Shadow Dancer and Sneak Tools is not working properly. So something's interfering with it. And I, I put them basically right at the bottom of the, of my load order, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Can I eat wolves? I know I can eat. This, uh, it did say humanoids. I probably can't. Come on, dog. There you go. 
Definitely cannot eat them. Wow, the range is pretty, is actually pretty good. On this uh, heat source thing. What is that? Who is that? They look kind of irritated. Guys seem to be searching around for somebody. No? Are we cool? They're like very agitatedly searching around. Wow, look at that range. I can see the saber cat all the way down there. I can see the wolf over here. Cool. Cool, cool beans. I can see the uh, necromancer up there. This is cool. The night stalker. I can see your blood. I am not actually a vampire. I have to like eat your face. Unfortunately, it's a bit messy. You can see the fire from all the way over here. Really nice. Where's a good spot? I, I know I can cross over there. I basically want to go right there. So... I mean, I guess I can... I can make my way this way. Look at that. The water is like turquoise in night vision. Would be nice to have a combo uh, detect life, detect dead. So that you can see, you know, with one ability, you can see both uh, living enemies and undead enemies. And also be super nice to be able to, uh, you know, quote unquote, smell bodies after you've killed them so that you can find them in the grass. Okay, let's do a hard save. Got one up there. Got the flame atronach there. I Take this Atronach out. Ooh, very close. Oh, that is not at all what I wanted to do. Did not want to make myself some more arrows, but okay. Let's maybe not have um not have that on the no less let's have um we should try to spare on one of these people. Take out the flame atronach. No. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> run in fear. Oh god. Oof. Oh boy. Oh, wow, she really does not run away for long. Shh, that's... Hmm, that could be better. That could be much, much better. Yeah, 
Bam! That was, that was a good, good solid amount of damage. No, he's sniping her. Oh! Don't let her heal. Did you, did you just get killed? You did, didn't you? Got completely killed. Yeah, you, you're not going to be able to detect me, trust me. Did, did I seriously miss her? Oh, come on. That was enough. That would have been enough to take her out. Completely. Completely. Out. Out of the game. There we go. I'll take it. A bit, bit messy, but... Did it in the end. Okay, can we get in through here? Oh, we can. I didn't lock this up. Whoa. Okay, we've got enemies all over the place. They didn't kill him. Still hot. What's going on? Oh, he's... They, they, they ran off like they weren't uh, attacking him anymore, and then I don't hear any fighting going on. Oh, there you go. Nice. <laughs> okay, he's down. Unfortunately. No, no, you don't hear, you don't hear anything. You don't hear anything. Oh, hello. An essence extractor. Essence extraction results. Okay. So that's a bit, a bit of a read. Um, Essex, Essence Extraction Final Report. I was able to find three ready sources rich in Adric power within Skyrim. By processing these sources in an instrument designed to standard specifications, I was able to produce an extract which could be consumed to attune an individual more toward a specific Adra. Nern root was used as the adjuvant... adjuvant? Uh, as per theory. However, I was forced to increase the concentration by 50%. I'm unsure if the initial calculations were incorrect, whether there is a subtle difference in Nern root properties by different by distance from a tower, or whether the collective recent calamities across Tamriel have been negatively impacting the Nern root health as observed with prior times of crisis. Interesting. Heartstones. There was considerable fallout of volcanic rock from the vicinity of the heart chamber infused with sufficient energies to be attuned to Lorcan. I immediately terminated the Nordic test subject upon completing the observation of the test. These results should be sealed from official record and retained as internal information only to preserve our mission. 
tap roots. The results seen elsewhere in Tamriel were re replicated here. The power of Yifri seems to be universal in composition despite variation in presentation. Ice Wraith Essence. This was an unexpectedly successful result following the historical development of the Pantheons of Men. Extracts from these manifestations of sun were evaluated for potential relationship with the Adric signature of Xenathar and Zen. Indeed, they were found to be similar, though more raw. This lends credence to the developmental theory of Zen's reward through trial as linked to societal developments from hunter-gatherer to agrarian to urbanized. These aspect isolation results are promising enough for me to recommend proceeding to phase two, Loric Suppression. I believe Skyrim would be suitable for population scale testing. I await approval for further work. What? Doom Drum Essence. Consume the essence to attune yourself to an Aedra. Consume the essence to attune yourself to an Aedra for the wild. Huh. That's interesting. So some kind of experiments where like natural things in the world link you to specific Aedra? That is quite fascinating actually. There's the essence of wild. Heartstone. Doom Drum. Frozen North Essence. I mean, what are these things going to do to me? Let's try uh, the wild. No, do I? Uh, requires Heartstone and three Nern Root? Oh, wait. No, they've already made it. Yeah. Voice of the Sky added. Peace. I think I already had that. Uh, you've recently attuned yourself. You will not be able to attune again for some time. What does that mean? Essence of the Wild have 100% weakness to disease? Oh, there. Animals will not attack you. Okay. I mean, that's that's cool, I guess. That is actually what I think the Voice of the Sky ability should have done. It should give you a permanent, not a 24-hour, a permanent um, resistance. Or animals will permanently not attack you until you attack them. Let's, uh... Try the Doom Drum. Yeah. What does that do for us? Um, decrease health regeneration by 100%. Crafting skills increased by 15%. Meh. Alright. Not at all useful for my particular character. Oops, that's not the one I wanted. Yeah. So, movement speed reduced by 25%. That's painful. But... Resist an additional 30% of physical damage and 30% of magic damage. That's kind of interesting. So you trade off uh, speed or 30% resistance. Hmm. Okay. Whoops. I don't think I'm actually going to use any of those right now. The, the one uh, where you don't get attacked by animals is kind of nice. But it does make you weak to disease. I'm not actually... Oh, I didn't realize that. Are you undead? Because you're not showing up. 
Oh, okay. She did not show up at all. Is this a ritual bow pole? Choose an item to create. I have no idea. Salt pouch. Packed ritual notes. And patron notes. And a strong box with a ring in it. Um. Oh. I just learned that? Okay. Patron notes. How much is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this is. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to read off through all of that. Okay, but I did get a new. Change your mind. Maybe this pact was a bad idea. <laughs> Make pact. Perform a ritual to adopt a patron. Oh, I have to read through all that? Yeah. Not going to do that right now either. Okay, that's kind of crazy. I assume that's all part of the dealing with Daedra thing, though. That's pretty... Oh, wait. Did I... Oh, I hadn't killed her yet. Convenient that she was just kind of waiting here. Um, like that. Okay, so that is what's going on here. Interesting. Let's take Rura, take the um, rest of these people and... Oh no, I got, I got sighted. I got, somehow. Oh, she got shot in the back. Did you take care of both of them? Oh, you did. Nicely done. Strange ring radiates power. All right, I gotta say that this de dealing with Daedra mod does add some intriguing information, or intriguing things to look into. It also has a strange ring. Okay, what does the strange ring do? Corrupted well. Your magic resistance is reduced, but your magic pool is increased. Whoops. Um. Yes. Let's do uh, a little bit more health, I guess. So we can do light foot, where we don't uh, trigger pressure plates, or blind spot, 30% harder to detect within 30 feet. I'll, I'll take that. Okay, so we get some more magic, but we're not resistant to magic, which is potentially deadly when we're dealing with mage, uh, a place full of mages. <laughs> Where does this go? Dungeons. that not alert them? Oh, I think I killed her. One shot. One kill. Nope. Didn't quite kill her. She's at 5%. Or 5 health. I guess that would be 10%. Oh, stop. Stop with your dodging. Please. 
You bloody stop doing that. Why, why can this guy not detect us? Oh. Careful what you wish for. Ow. Should probably pop that ring off. Extra magica, frostbite, no. And there's another person over there. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely take that ring off while I'm in here. That's not not really safe, shall we say. What's that? Tree sap, okay. You're using, um, you're using fire against my skeleton, which is not very good for his health. He's hanging in there, though. He is hanging in there. Oh, 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 oh. And... Oh! Now oh, you're dead now. All right, she's going back to what she was doing, standing at the lectern. Perfect. Do that again. I really do need to install a mod that prevents them from doing that whole, uh, that whole thing where they, where they, uh, like, ninja dodge out of the way and things. What is, what's, what's going on here? Use the anomaly, warped jazz bay salt juice. Uh, absorb 100% of the magicka from hostile spells for 15 seconds. Decreases the target's magicka regeneration by 50%. Okay. There's oblivion. I'll take that. That's fine. And that's all good there. Yeah. Nothing that great there. City of Stone. That goes into the dungeons as well. Another part of the dungeons, I guess. Okay, um, yeah. This episode is running a little bit over time, so we are going to uh, wrap it up here and we'll continue to see what's going on in Felglow Keep in the next episode. Thanks for joining me, guys. See you then.